A shoebox-sized spacecraft that launched on NASA's Artemis One mission is all ready to begin its deep space biology experiment after completing a flyby of the moon. NASA's Biocentennial is one of the 10 ride-along CubeSats that launched flight on the Artemis One mission on November 16th. Long-term manned spaceflight poses unique health challenges, and this project hopes to uncover those dangers. Early data from BioSentinel on November 16th showed that the approximately 30-pound or 13-kilogram CubeSat was tumbling. However, a NASA statement claims that the problem has been fixed after orders issued across the deep space network addressed the anomaly. The CubeSat was then able to perform a successful lunar flyby on November 22nd, traveling as near as 250 miles or 402 kilometers above the moon's surface. BioSentinel contains two strains of yeast, with the objective of discovering how the dangerous radiation environment of deep space affects and degrades genetic material. Scientists at NASA's Ames Research Center in California want to utilize the information to develop new approaches that will help future explorers of the solar system. On the International Space Station, astronauts are subjected to significantly higher levels of radiation than they would be on Earth. However, most of the radiation from outer space that may harm their DNA is reflected by Earth's magnetosphere. As well as being a well-studied organism, yeast was selected because of the similarities between its DNA repair process and that of human cells. Only two types of strains were selected for the trip. The first is a naturally occurring yeast, while the second was chosen because of its DNA repair problems. The threats to human health from spaceflight may be better understood by comparing the reactions of these two types of microbes. BioSentinel is orienting its solar panels towards the sun and recharging its batteries in preparation for the start of its experiment, which is expected to begin next month, according to NASA. NASA Ames BioSentinel project manager Matt Napoli remarked, We are interested to see how the yeast are doing once the experiment starts and we get the first data downlink from the spacecraft. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.